Brendan Kirby is joining us now live. And Brendan, you actually wrote about this case when you actually worked for the Press Register. Yeah, that's right, Shelby and Lenise. That was back in 2007, and it was already a cold case then. By all accounts, Mary Brooks was minding her own business at her modest home on Mill Street on the 5th of May, 2001. The 77-year-old blind woman was in her bedroom listening to the television. That's when one or more people stabbed her repeatedly. She died the following month. Brooks's son, George Scudder Brooks, was also stabbed. Mary Brooks's great-nephew, Howard Waters, says a neighbor discovered the bloody scene. My cousin was laying on the floor and he had tapped on a, a garbage can that was inside and his only way he, he knew that there was somebody in there. He looked in and saw him on the floor bleeding. Waters retired in 2010 from the Mobile County Sheriff's Office where he spent almost 27 years as a patrol deputy and stints at the jail in the Civil Division. Now he says he's hoping to get some closure for the family. The Mobile Police Department has a detective working full time on cases where leads have dried up. Sometimes cold case investigators get lucky, such as this month when MPD made an arrest in a 10-year-old murder case following a fingerprint match. Short of new evidence, Sergeant Nick Crapeau acknowledges it can be a challenging assignment. What you hope for is that, you know, someone will eventually come forward on a case that has information. You know, I would imagine that most unsolved homicides out there, there's somebody that, you know, has got some information holding on to it that, um, that they haven't never shared with, with law enforcement. Police originally investigating the Brooks homicide told me at the time that they had a suspect, but never enough evidence to make an arrest. There had been no signs of forced entry and no obvious theft. An aggressive pit bull apparently offered no resistance, suggesting the victims knew their attacker or attackers. Waters thinks two people were involved. But George Brooks told me before he died that he remembered nothing more than waking up in a hospital. Waters says he knows it's a long shot, but he says he hopes someone comes forward with new information. Somebody somewhere knows something. It doesn't make any difference if, if the two subjects are dead. Uh, somebody, they've told somebody. Sergeant Crapeau is the only Mobile police officer working these cases, and he's got no shortage of files. He says cold cases date back to the 1950s. Reporting live, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.